to welcome to Alagawa YouTube channel where we show you how to create beautiful web design using Adobe XD. In this video, we'll be talking about the advantages of using Adobe XD because a lot of people have been telling us that why Adobe XD? Why do you like using Adobe XD? And in this video, that's what I will be showing you. So in this video, I have five benefits of Adobe XD, or should I say five reasons why we prefer using Adobe XD compared to other app and um, interface and design applications out there. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, advantages of Adobe XD. Number one, all types of adboards. In Adobe XD, you have the chance of using every types of adboards. And this is what I mean. When you open up Adobe XD, this is it. You see here, you have different adboards for mobile, different adboards for web, and for social media pages as well. If you click on this drop down, you see a lot of mobile phone sizes, mobile phone adboards that you can just select and start designing. And for web as well, you have all the available web um, adboards for you to just start designing. And for social as well, you have Instagram, Twitter posts, everything. All the adboards are just ready made. You just select it and you start working. And more importantly, even if you don't, you don't have any specific, um, maybe phone or web or even social media size in mind, but you have your specific dimension, the width and height. Then you can just come here and specify the width and height and start working. And this is very useful, guys. And this is one of the main reasons why we decided to stick with Adobe XD. It has a lot of adboards just for you to use. That's number one. Number two is that tutorials. Even if you are a beginner and you don't know much about how to use the application, Adobe XD provides some tutorials for you. Just because I'm not, I'm, I'm not my beginner, and um, even before, um, while I was um, new, uh, especially if you are opening or setting up your Adobe XD application for the first time, you get a lot of tutorials that will come to you that oh, this how to do this, this how to do that. You get that every time, except after you block it. I've blocked that, that's why I don't see it on my own Adobe XD application. However, if you are opening Adobe XD for the first time, or you haven't disabled that feature, you have um, the chance of getting tutorials on how to use each tool in the application. And that's another thing why, another reason why I advise beginners to just use Adobe XD. And number three, simple and clean interface. The interface is simple and clean. And if you, if you decide to just neglect what you see here, these are my previous designs, just look at this. It is very simple and clean. These are the only things you are going to see. For example, if I should click on an ad button now just to open the design page, you can see this is very clean, simple. It's very clean. At the left here, you have all the tools. and the right, you have the necessary properties for each tool you select. It is so clean. You don't have any other um, just thousands of tools or thousands of settings. You don't need that. Unlike Adobe, um, Photoshop, where you have a lot of tools, it's very, very difficult for beginners. In fact, it is overwhelming for beginners to use such applications. But in the case of Adobe XD, you don't have much, like everything is clean and simple. It is very easy to, it is um, enticing to beginners because they don't feel overwhelmed when they see the interface. And that's a major difference, guys. And that's the, um, the third reason. The fourth and the most important reason, guys, is the prototyping feature in Adobe XD. This is so, so useful, guys, because I'll explain this. You are, if you are using Adobe XD, oftentimes you'll be a UI designer, someone that designs interfaces for developers to program. And the best way for you to give developers what to do is to give them something like an animation, something like a prototype, something like something that imitates that looks like the real product. And for you to get that, you need some prototyping features in your in the application that you are using. So prototype just allows you as the designer to put some interaction in your designs. 
and the reason these interactions are not just any interactions these interactions will be what you want the design to look like and to get the prototype section this is the design section and this is the prototype section notice you have different things here in fact things even look more simpler here guys and this is so so useful guys and with that we have come to the end of this video guys those are the advantages why of using adobe xd why we decide to stick with adobe xd in our on our youtube channel and thank you for watching guys i really appreciate your time thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video bye for now